Na, 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 na. We're back talking uh, with the teen mother. In this case, it's Bernice, who's pregnant with her second child in one year by boyfriend Carlos. Bernice's mother, Doris, says she fears for her daughter's life every day. Take a look at why. Nothing. I was singing drugs and I was about 16 years old and I got shot right there. Been stabbed with razors. I, I got to carry something to protect me. Knock somebody's teeth then or could probably crush your skull in. I'd kill somebody just for them just even looking at me. It's all because of gangs. This is me and my homegirl. C is me, Carlos. My homegirl, Angelica, they shot her. She died in my arms. Uh, I fear for my families, but not really. If there was to be a drive-by and stuff, and uh, something ever happened to my son, I'd kill them and their kid, and that's guaranteed. Me and Bernice are a family. We've made a family. We are a family, and we will try to the day we die to try to make this family work. I think Dolores is always looking for a fight and always trying to make something into being a fight. Bernice's mom tries to tell me what the f to do, you know? I'm my own person. She wants me to do it her way, when I don't know how to do it her way, and I will not do it her way. I will do it my way, and that's the way it is. Right now, we live in her house, in her mother's house, and it's like we don't have no privacy. If we get into an argument, she's boom, right there. Bernice's mom kicks us out, we both go. Why did this girlfriend of Carlos's die in his arms? Uh, they were out for to get her rims on her car. They were what? They wanted her rims on her car, so they killed her. Suppose you're next. Suppose somebody touches the rims on your car, your mother, or anything like that. Um, what makes you think you're not next? Oh, I don't think I'm not next. I, I could die tomorrow, for all I know. I don't know. I can't. Do you know what it is to hold your dying child in your arms? Do you realize what it is? You don't know, do you? I do. And I'm not going to lose you, and I'm not going to lose my grandbaby. I won't have it. I can't live like this anymore. Let's meet Carlos. Carlos, you, I'm going to read a profile on you. If there's anything wrong, tell me. You started gangbanging in the sixth grade, quit yeah. school in the seventh grade, right? Yeah. Did you ever think you'd have a child and that seventh grade education isn't the best you could do? Yeah, I thought about it, and I know that I messed up with my schooling and stuff. And... Okay. You say you shot at people, but don't know if you've killed anyone. Uh, yeah, that's true. You got shot in the chest, you got stabbed with a razor, you got hit in the face with a brick. Is this good stuff or bad stuff? This is very bad stuff. This is the time that I used to live in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And um, it's not only me that I have these gang people come over, okay? Dolores knows some of these East Siders that go over and they're You know what? Hurting. I know the parents of those kids. Good. When do they, when do they come? Okay, the thank you, thank you. And don't you, you try and make me you go sad, you scum! That I'm, you're the scum! Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. You're the one that don't has to... You you're the one that sad. has the East Siders go over to the house. No, you're the one that brings the... Nobody! The nobody came to my house until you came along! Wait, That's when the trouble started! Wait, 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 Doris. Yes, it is! Not know who East Siders, West Siders, or any of that is, and by the way, we care less. Why can't you leave the gang? You're a father and about to be a father again. What is a grown-up person job, like you doing in something that I, I would need... expect should be in junior high school at the most, if at all? What are you doing? 
Why can't well, I see you a make... lot of people over here laughing about this and that, right? No, you know no. what? Look, listen, listen, listen. You know what? It's very, very, very hard, and it's it's embarrassing to go back to school. Do you understand? I mean, it's I'm in seventh grade. Come okay. on, I mean, but okay. you know what? I, so... I I'm not. You're changing. Hold on, Carlos. You're changing the topic. You know, it may be embarrassing to go back to school. I may give you that. Okay. My mother happened to have gone to college when she was 53 years old. I'm sure she was a little old there, sitting around. But you have a choice between your embarrassment and the future of your family. Right. If you right. choose your embarrassment, you're selfish. Now, did you... You didn't answer... You didn't answer the question as to why you are still in a gang as a father. Do they have grandfathers in this gang? I'll bet they do. Why are you still in a gang? I can't get away from it. Why? I'm stuck. I'm stuck with no money, no education, and I live in a, in a messed up town. And you know, no, it's not my choice. It is not my choice. It's not my choice. Go ahead. Um, do you love your son? Yes, I do very much. Do you much. love that child that she's carrying? Yes. Well, then you know what? You need to get your life together and provide for those kids and for her. That's if why I'm here. If you can't That's get out, I'm then here. you need to be a man and walk away from her so that she can raise those kids and provide for those kids. Okay? You need to be a man and walk away. Otherwise, she cannot do right by those kids if you're holding her back. You are holding her back. I'm not holding her back. You are holding her back. Yes, you are. No, you want to talk about holding her back? back. She, she will never be able to provide a safe life for those kids as long you as what? you are in You know what? Life. I'm here to change. Yeah. Can I see what you're selling? See, every, there's a lot of people in here saying that, you know, maybe I can change. Well, that's, how I, that's why I'm here. I'm here. I want to see if you can help me change and get my education function. That's how much I love it. I'll do it. I'll do anything for her. Okay. <laughs> Listen, uh, if I were in danger, if I were in danger, and I had gotten myself into the danger, nobody forced you to join a gang. You joined a gang because you thought that was a big deal when you were whatever age you were when you joined it. And I knew that those gangs endanger the life of my children and the life of the woman I love. I would hope that I would have the bravery to turn around and walk away so they would not be in danger. That's well, my we're trying to move out. We're trying to No, move no, out no not you. Place. Him. You represent for us an awful lot of teenagers out there. Now, sometimes uh, the boyfriend is the <coughs> one to uh, control a woman by making sure she gets pregnant. Guess what? That's been something that, that guys have done and women have had done to them since the beginning of time. Let's ask one of these young ladies how wonderful that is and why she did it when we come back. We'll be right back. Is your boyfriend denying he's the father of your unborn baby and you want him to take a surprise paternity test? If so, please call us at 1-800-93-SALLY. Hi, I'm Dave and I'm hanging out with my good pals and we're here to talk about Kids Day. Day. On Tuesday, October 3rd, volunteers are going to hit the streets of Sacramento to sell a special Kids Day edition of the Sacramento Bee, and you can pick it up for only a dollar. You can help by selling a paper or by just buying one. Thanks! You'll help Shriners Hospitals for Children right here in Sacramento, providing free medical care for kids. So get your dollar ready and join KOVR 13 and the Sacramento Bee on Tuesday, October 3rd for Kids Day. According to a new study published by the Information Technology Association of America, over 1.6 million new information technology jobs will become available this year alone. The study also identifies technical institutes as one of the best ways to acquire the necessary skills to meet these new career opportunities. ITT Tech. Our focus is on college degrees in technology. ITT Technical Institute. Education for the future. 
To find out more, call 1-800-ITT-TECH or visit us on the web. Not only is he my best friend, but he's someone I look up to. He used to depend on us. Now we depend on him. My brother is a real cool guy. He's a team player, someone you can count on all the time. ITT Technical Institute, education for the future. To find out more, call 1-800-ITT-TECH or visit us on the web. Floors to Go, Sacramento's largest floor covering company, now with over 30,000 square feet of inventory. It's a grand reopening sale. Save 10, 20, 30, even 40%. Carpets as low as $1.23 per square foot installed with pad. Laminated flooring starting at $1.99 per square foot. Vinyl flooring as low as 45 cents per square foot. Ceramic tile, 99 cents. Italian porcelain as low as $1.99 per square foot. In Sacramento at 2333 Arden Way. In Stockton, 833 East March Lane. Floors to Go, quality flooring at affordable prices. If you drink coffee or if you smoke, stains on your teeth could be this bad. But brush with Plus White and look, stains are gone. Plus White removes stains, whitens teeth fast. Tybo gives you back everything that you put into it and more. I've lost 126 pounds in 13 months. I got the power, you know, and it's great. It's, it's Tybo. Let's take a look at what happened on our previous show that we did, the one on teens, who are absolutely sure they want to have babies. We sent Pat Ferrari to the home of two 16-year-old stepsisters, Shauna and Michaela, who thought they, too, were very ready to have babies. Here's what Pat saw. Hi. I am so glad you're here. Oh, you look disgusted. I am. All right, show me where the room is. Okay. Come on, let's go. Wake up, Michaela. Do you know who I am? I'm Pat Ferrari from the Sally Jesse Raphael Show, and I'm the president of Sally's Mom Squad. I hear you girls want to have a baby. Is that true? Well, look what I brought. Baby Chucky. And you're going to get to take care of the baby all night long. We gotta go to the store, we gotta get some groceries for this baby. We have a lot of huh? Well, uh, baby can't be up all night. Excuse me, excuse me. Is that how you treat your baby? I don't think so. Time to feed the baby and it's not gonna be cheap. How are you going to support this baby? You know how embarrassed I was? You looked at me like I was going to be. This is not my baby. I don't want the baby. You want the baby. You want the baby. What is this? You girls have been smoking in front of the baby. What yeah, is this? You know that the baby's lungs are going to be like this? You we have the baby in front of a baby. All right, throw this out. Yeah. I don't want to feed the baby. Pick up that bottle. No. Pick up the bottle. No. Pick up the bottle. No. Pick up the bottle. You're not my mother. You're not, you're I, not my mother. And you're not a good mother either. What? What? Yeah, you, you know what? Me. And you know what? You're gonna wipe off the nipple because the nipple is dirty. You're gonna feed the baby with a dirty nipple. You're gonna feed the baby with a dirty nipple. Pick up the bottle. Here, little baby, take the bottle. After, after last night, and after being with that baby that was crying all night long, do you want to have a baby? <laughs> and I thought you said it would be fun. I thought it would be, but really it's not. Yeah. Do you feel a child's going to love you no matter what? It's an unconditional love? Yeah, right? Do you feel that nobody loves you unconditionally? You feel that way? Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. It's going to be okay. Sally sent me here. She was very concerned with... She read all the stories. And she said... She touched her heart. So if there's anything that you could say to Sally right now, why don't you tell her? Um, thanks for sending these people out here and helping me find out that I'm not ready. And it hurts, right? Uh, and, and, and you tell her what you told me. You're going to work on it. Um, I'm, I'm going to work on, you know... Getting my life straightened out so when I do have a baby, when I get older, I can take care of it. 
and so it can look up to me instead of looking at me like I'm not. We keep watching for more on the lives of Shana and Michaela as we plan to keep in touch and follow their progress. This next interview is with a teenage mother named Erica. Erica did this number. She's going to trust her boyfriend. Yeah, well, she was dead wrong. Take a look. My name is Erica. I'm a teenager. I'm having a baby, and the doctor says that it's due tomorrow. I never wanted to be pregnant, especially not as a teenager. But my boyfriend poked holes in the condom, and I got pregnant. Being pregnant is not what it's all cracked up to be. What you want to do is just be in your room and have nobody make noise. Nothing. You can't go outside. You can't hang out. And even if you wanted to, you're so tired that what you want to do is just relax. Stay in your house and sleep. You're just so depressed. You just keep crying. I mean, for no reason. And then it's like, you don't even know why you're crying. And that's like even more depressing. So you start to cry even more. I wish I never would have had sex. And if I wouldn't have had sex, I wouldn't have come out pregnant. I thought I could trust my boyfriend, but it ended up that he was the one poking holes in the condom to get me pregnant. Therefore, I couldn't even trust him. I wish I would have listened to my mother when she said that my boyfriend was no good to begin with, and I wouldn't even be in this mess right now. Well, we have two babies who uh, are six days old on the show. It just happened that way. <laughs> this is Clara Luce. She's six days old, and I'm here with her mother, Erica, who watches the show, right? Yes. <laughs> Never thought she'd be on it. Uh, we often wonder if we could roll a tape. Would a girl say she should have listened to her mother? Uh, should you have listened to your mother? Definitely. Okay, when your mother gave you advice about little Clara's father. Uh, first thing, did he want you to get pregnant? Did yes. he poke holes in a condom? Yes, what was he did. his reason? Well, he used to beat me all the time, and he figured probably that by him poking holes in the condom, I would get pregnant, and I would have to stay with him automatically. What's the pregnancy like? It was pure hell. Tell me why. I got migraines. I got throw up. I threw up everything I ate. Even water right. gave me heartburn. Um, I was supposed to lose the baby on several occasions. I was depressed all the time. I would cry so much. It wasn't even funny. When you thought of having a baby, did you ever think it would be this difficult or this bad? I never wanted a baby. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you know how many teenage girls do want? They're dumb. I think it's, they are dumb. Yeah, I think it's even worse if you didn't want the baby. What do you tell these teenage girls who are watching today? Not to have babies. That they need to, there's a time for everything. They're young. And life has certain stages. And right now, they're in the stage that they should work, go to school, have fun. Who's taking care of you and the baby? Me. All by yourself? By myself. I have my mother. I live with my mother. She helps me. How hard is this? It's so hard. I never thought it was going to be this hard. We'll be right back. issue because if he leaves the gang they will go after the mother the the, the wife the child for free tickets to be in the sally show audience call 212-244-3595 there's a beat a pulse imagine that is the wall when all the notes come together, it feels like music, but it tastes like jungle wine. Zatarans! Jazz it up with Zatarans! And so, my fellow Americans, what's it 
Lots of Diamond Center parts from all the other jewelry stores. At the Diamond Center, you get beautiful jewelry on credit with no money down. The Diamond Center will give you up to three years to pay. At the Diamond Center, you can get your first credit account. The Diamond Center has a credit plan for everybody. Call 1-800-998-4200. Need auto insurance? Call 1-800-GENERAL. Your down payment can be as low as $37.50. Or purchase your insurance online at thegeneral.com and get an instant ID card. For as little as $37.50 down, you can get insured right now. It's fast. It's direct from the general. And there's no finger pointing at your driving record. Log on now or call 1-800-GENERAL to see how low your down payment can be. For the best car insurance rates in town, call 1-800-GENERAL now. Welcome to a cool new world. Not just more movies, but more time together. Not just more channels, but more inspiration. It's new Comcast Digital Cable. And with this great offer, you can get connected to a brand new way to watch your TV. Call now, and don't just tune it in. Stir things up. Comcast Digital Cable. What a cool new world. Comcast. What is 444-4444? If you've been hurt in an accident, the last thing you need is another bill. That's why if my law firm picks your case, there's never a fee until we win. If you've been hurt and need help, call me. Dial 444-4444. Just remember, all fours for legal help. So, it was the middle of last summer, and I just happened to be looking through the mail that we get on the show, and one more young lady was saying, boy, I know I'm only 14, but I really think I'd be a very good mother, and I'd like to get pregnant and have a baby. That gave us the idea to follow some teenage mothers throughout their pregnancy. So we got together with a whole group of them. And now we're going to show you the reality of this teenager giving birth. We captured it on video. This is 16-year-old Amber. 12 hours of hard labor. Take a look. One day very soon you will be here to take your first breath of air and of life. For nine months you grew within me. Walls that have nurtured you and helped you to grow to become healthy within me. This isn't such a wonderful romantic experience, is it? Especially for a very young girl. So let's see what Amber had to say about the experience just after she delivered an 8-pound, 13-ounce baby dog. Come on. Way to go. Keep it up now. No more. that again and then they told me to have a c-section because she was stuck it was 12 hours i came in at 10 and um it was like around 10 o'clock when we decided to do c-section and she was born at 11.01 exactly 
that is the most difficult thing to do, especially now. I'm on my end with this. I have family, you know, friends, but no baby's father. But this person, you know, put in the room. When I was in labor, I was seeing all kinds of stuff in the mirror. No more for me. No man is worth the pain that I went through. And the trauma that my body is safe is face. No. Please welcome Amber. issue because if he leaves the gang they will go after the mother the, the the wife the child i believe in my heart that carlos really wants to change he doesn't know how to get out of this gang uh and not be hurt and or his family hurt hi i'm wilford brimley for liberty medical i'm a diabetic I know how serious this disease is, but I also know a way to help control it. Check your blood sugar and check it often. And Liberty makes that easier. If you're 65 or over on Medicare and diabetic, call Liberty right now. They're the country's largest Medicare mail order diabetic testing supply company and they make things simple. They bring your supplies right to your door. Then Liberty builds Medicare and your insurance company, that's right. No money up front and no more forms to fill out. Diabetes doesn't have to take over your life. Check your blood sugar. Check it often. See, there's just no reason not to. And call Liberty. They're professionals and they can help you live a better life. For more information on free home delivery, call toll-free 1-877-327-4730. This weekend, it's the sale of the century. Leather jackets, $39. Leather wallets, $5. Nike Reebok, d Adidas Sports Shoes, $19. T-shirts, a dollar. Gee! Levi's Guest, Lee and Moore, $14. Rockford Flossgate, detachable face CD players, $149. Microwave ovens, $39. Coasters, can openers, fixers, and juicers, $5. Hoover vacuums, $29. Even Hoover steam vac. Jewelry, perfumes, stereos, TV, small appliances. Thousands of bargains. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Cal Expo in Sacramento. Like a lot of folks, I really enjoy shopping at McDougal's. But some people think I have like this big obsession with giving close out deals on brand name products. Now, where on earth would they get that idea? Save 47% on Play School denim pants sets for girls. Just $8.99 each. McFrugal's brand names, close out prices. It's the answer that's been needed for a long, long time. Patients and their doctors agree that Open System MRI of Roseville is their first choice for an established and compassionate MRI clinic. If I had to have another MRI on myself, I would choose Open System MRI. When your doctor says MRI, request Open System MRI of Roseville for compassion, confidence, and comfort. I would recommend Open Systems MRI to everybody. There's just no other way. It's the greatest. It's the best. Express yourself with Drexel Heritage and McCreary's. Discover how easy and fun home fashion can be with our master plan. Talented designers will help you with everything. Colors, textures, furnishings, and accessories carefully selected and arranged to fit your home, lifestyle, and budget. With master plan, you grow your dream, room by room or one piece at a time. Drexel Heritage and McCreary's, where it all comes together for you. That's my baby. These babies were conceived using the ClearPlan Easy Fertility Monitor. It identifies more fertile days each cycle than any leading method. ClearPlan, clear results. Get the Libman Nitty Gritty Roller Mop and get down to the Nitty Gritty. 
Before the dentist begins his work, he rubs a pain reliever on first. It's the same strength pain reliever you can get in Maximum Strength Ambisol. Dentist strong so the pain is gone. We watched Amber. I, I asked her if she's bored with us. She said, no, we've been with her quite a while. Amber's pregnancy was an accident. She was rebelling against herself and everyone. She was on birth control. She would forget to take it. The boyfriend said he was in love with her. He would take care of her. And then when she got pregnant, he denied that he was the father. And after she became pregnant, he has split and he is nowhere to be found. Do you have anything to say to Bernice over here or any other young lady? He'll love me forever. He'll love me forever. Until what? I'm sorry, Bernice. And I know that you and Carlos are in love with each other. And I know that no matter what anybody says to you, you're going to go with what your heart desires. But you got a baby. You got to think about his life and his future. And Carlos, man, I'm dead serious. Get out of it. How's it feel to be a mother? It, it's scary. Yeah. And now there's no more hanging out with the girlfriends. There's no more uh, all of that. It all has to be for her. She's worth it, though. I don't know what to do about Doris and Bernice and Carlos. I really, really don't. If he goes out, will they hurt her, this gang? Yes, it's a very large gang, and it's a, and it's a serious issue, because if he leaves the gang, they will go after the mother, the, the, the wife, the child. I believe in my heart that Carlos really wants to change. He doesn't know how to do that. He doesn't know how to get out of this gang uh, and not be hurt and or his family hurt. One good resolution, because I spoke with Mom and I spoke with the two of them. We are going to sit down and we're coming to some very good resolutions. She's going to work with them and we're going to remove them from that area. The only way you can get out is to get out of the area. Right? What do you say, Doris? Yes? I'll agree with it 100%. <laughs> yep. Okay, we'll be right back. <laughs>